It looks like the set of a horror movie. Where your adrenaline kicks in and you're, it's exciting and fun, but it's scary as hell at the same time. It can fluster you and, and throw you off guard, but as firefighters, that's, it's pretty much our job. Staying cool in the face of danger is rarely natural. Have that fire hose in your hand and fighting something that can possibly kill you or harm you in any type of way. It's a habit. With those simulators, it's, it's actually, it's easy now. It, it becomes uh, calming, I guess you could say. It's just easy to get out there and, and you know what you have to do. You know how to do it. And the only thing you gotta worry about is just uh, keeping everyone safe. Kunsan's burn house is four stories of training. Confined space areas up there. We have elevator rescue simulators. We have high rise simulators so we can actually simulate hooking up water to the building and, and flowing water up to the fourth floor and being able to put a fire out up there too. To keep our firefighters clear headed when it counts. They are just going out to a building and walking through it. This actually gives us the opportunity to put hands on and really practice our skills. The burn house may be formidable, but it never stood a chance. It's in my blood. My grandfather and father were formidable firefighters. My dad was in the army as a firefighter. I, I grew up with firefighting. It's not about legacy or an adrenaline rush or even getting to ride in a fire truck. Like some other squadrons don't like us just because they think we just chill inside the station all day and play video games and watch movies, but we're actually out here training. Everyone is running out of a burning building and, and we're the ones running in for a reason. Uh, helping other people is, is what we do. Senior Airman Nick Doftis, Kunsan Air Base, Korea.